All right, Mike, it's time for our daily face-off inbox question of the day. Hashtag ask DFO. Thanks for sending in a ton of questions over the last 24 hours. This one comes from TJ Smith. He says, could Mason Marchment be an oiler if they don't get Kane or Giroux? I think he could fit quite well there. Uh, TJ, to answer your question, I think the Florida Panthers are making one last-ditch effort to sign Mason Marchment. What a tough week it's been for the Marchman family with their, his father Brian's untimely passing uh, last week at the draft in Montreal. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if this is maybe a little bit um, a slower approach from the Marchman camp, all things considered. Um, but uh, I think what Mason Marchman is looking at is somewhere in the three years to four and a half million dollar range. Something like the deal that Carter Verhage signed, mm-hmm. almost similar career paths, Mike. I think there seems to be more questions about Marchman's game than Verhage, if we're being fair, but the Panthers would like to take one last push to try and sign Marchman before he walks. I personally don't necessarily see him as, you know, quite uh, as good of a fit for the Edmonton Oilers. What say you? I could see him in Edmonton, and, I, and obviously you're kind of looking at a replacement for Evander Kane on the left side, and that's – listen, Mason Marchman's a good player, and I love the, where his career is now, what it's taken to get to the spot it's in. Uh, but I'm not sure he can fill that role if that's what you're looking for. I think he'd be a piece that works in Edmonton but not be the best possible. So I think there'd have to be some trickle-down effect, and I agree with you. I think the Verhage deal is probably really close. I was thinking for Marchment somewhere in the four, four, two, five, four and a half range with a little shorter a, a shorter uh, term on it just because he's 27 years old and you don't have that big build-out of past reputation in terms of at least in the NHL, Frank. But um, I think Marchment's a very desirable piece for a lot of teams plays with some edge he's got some scoring touch he's willing to go to the front of the net and there's not enough 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 of those players around yeah and that's sort of exactly the type of range four and a half million bucks that the Oilers ideally would like to spend on their winger uh I think that's the type of neighborhood that they'd be interested in trying to get someone like David Perron uh Hmm. to come back to Edmonton uh, I wonder what other kinds of fits are out there. They still recognize all things considered that Evander Kane is likely the best stylistic fit, has a pure finishing ability, has the edge, has the size. Uh, that's sort of the range that they've been offering Evander Kane in as well. So uh, lots of things for the Oilers to figure out. This uh, Daily Faceoff inbox question of the day brought to you by Points Bet Canada.